Hello everyone, it's Infinite Dice. I'm uh, just about to show you um, a new little mod that I kind of thought up and really it isn't much, but I think it'll be pretty cool for a lot of people to try out with their stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna load up my mobile test rig here. And what I call it, it is uh, Fueltastic, Fueltastic. Um, it allows you to generate fuel uh, and a uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer from electricity. It's just a generator to basically exchange them. Um, on the front, we have a separate unit, which will be the you know the mobile driving unit driven by a Kerbal. It has a docking port on the front. The back vehicle is actually a drone with a little drone brain here and some solar panels. It has the um, the fueltastic uh, fuel tank in the center here and another coupler on the back uh, so that it can connect to our other vehicle. So I'm just going to launch without further ado. I'll try not to make this video too long. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is hit the brakes. And actually, you know what? I'm going to turn the brakes off. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to decouple. That'll separate us. I'm just going to quickly switch back over to the other vehicle and hit the brakes on it so it doesn't move. And switch back to the... Oh, we've got another one sitting over there. So switch back to the other vehicle here. So we're just going to uh, do a little, a little bit of a turn. And we're going to get off of this runway. Hopefully not crash and kill everybody. Okay. So we'll just keep her moving. Now I already have another test vehicle over there which is identical to the one I left on the runway so what I think I'm going to do is I'll just pull up to that drone there. So if we take a look at our resources, oops not that, liquid fuel and oxidizer. And if we just uh, keep track of those you can see that we've used up some of our resources here. So that's good for our example. I'm just going to Hit the brakes a few times so I don't tip this puppy over. We'll keep her pointed in that direction. So what I want to do is I just want to quickly dock with this thing here. And hopefully... seems to like to uh, not move very well so that's the problem you know what Ooh, that puppy's moving okay so uh, for some reason she's moving along the grass I'm just gonna hit the brake on it uh, brakes thank you okay I'm gonna go to this guy here and we're gonna Turn the brake off on this one. Oops, so it's not letting me. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn these engines on manually. Okay, let's get a move on with this. And let's get it over here in line with my other vehicle. Just uh, hopefully it doesn't explode. Yay. Okay. Just need a little bit of speed. I don't want to get too fast here. I don't want to smash anything, so. Okay. I can't recall if I put the brake on the other vehicle or not, so I'm just going to brake and stop and put the brake on this vehicle. I'm going to extend. Actually, I'm actually going to turn these resource uh, things off for now. Okay, 
just going to extend the panels on this. Okay. And I'm going to activate the generator. I'm not going to activate the generator yet. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So we're going to switch over to the vehicle that I am piloting, which is rolling around and it shouldn't be. Let's do it. Okay. So we're just going to turn ourselves into this. Hit the Just tap the brake a couple times here. I don't want to tap it too much because then it'll stop rolling altogether and that'll be bad. Okay. Okay, so all we want to do is just approach very slowly and we connect and we're good. So now what we want to do is we want to turn on our liquid and oxidizer display here. Okay, so we can see that there's some missing out of this tank and in fact some missing out of these tanks. So we're going to turn on the fuel tastic and she's going to start generating and you're going to see it start generating uh, it's generating on this tank over here first. I must say you probably want to, well I think the brakes are on this one so it should hold that one steady but in any case these are these are building. Um, if we take a look at our energy it is pulling the electric charge from across those two vehicles so you're looking at uh, the electric charge that this thing draws is, is very high so you want as many solar panels, I'd say four or five minimum in order to do this. Um, uh, and I think this will be really cool because you could put a base on the other side of the planet or if you have rescue craft that are going to go get some stranded guys or if you have uh, if you want to generate some fuel on your space station so you can make a stop off there refuel and then take off for another planet that could be done you could make a very large spacecraft that regenerates its own fuel but it won't regenerate quickly enough to actually use the engine constantly so during its um, coast through space to the other planet it could actually be charging the fuel back up for the return trip so it is kind of slow at charging but I think that's better than having something that could basically charge the engine as fast as it's dissipated so uh, that makes it a, a slightly more realistic until I'm sure a, a fuel production mining mod comes out uh, that, that people can use. But I think this is kind of cool because it adds another dynamic to the game where you can actually recharge your fuel. Um, currently it doesn't recharge uh, RCS um, but uh, I could make it uh, recharge RCS. Uh, I could make a separate module that recharges RCS. Uh, and I might do that if I if I get a request for it or something. I think the rocket fuel is the biggest one. Uh, RCS is just another one that uh, I mean it might come down the road, but it's not that important right now for me. So I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, download it and use it and have fun.